Hi guys! If ever you had a surprise Google Meet that you were not prepared for but you still want to look good, don't worry because today I will be teaching you guys how to add video filters on Google Meet. So the first method is actually through the Google Meet app. So let me show you guys where you can find it. If you look here at the bottom, you can see different buttons. So you're just going to click this one and you're going to click apply visual effects. When you click on the visual effects panel, you're going to see a couple of different options. So the first one is backgrounds. This is your typical background that you can add. So if you want to add a virtual background, this is where you can find it. The filters tab. So when you scroll here, you can see all the fun and exciting filters. Appearance tab. There's only four options here you can choose from, namely grayscale, cloudy day, sunlight, or moonlight. So I do want to mention that if you are using the free Google plan, your appearance tab is going to look different compared to those with the paid Google plans. The paid Google plans come with additional features in their appearance section, which is the portrait touch up. Offhand, I do think that with Google Meet, there is a lack of customization with the filters. I do hope that they upgrade or add more things eventually, but right now you can add a few fun filters, but there's no customization on how your face looks to make yourself look better. If you are looking for those features, don't worry because I have a second method I want to show you guys. For the second method, you are going to need an app called Filter On Me. What exactly is Filter On Me? It is an app where you can customize and create video filters for your video calls and streams. The great thing about Filter On Me is it works for multiple different apps. It works on Google Meet, Zoom, Microsoft Teams, Twitch, Discord, Slack, Streamlabs, and many more. Plus, it is available on both Mac and Windows. So let me get into how it all works. Once you download Filter On Me, it is going to look like this. And you can see here that there are multiple different tabs to help you create the perfect video filter for your Google Meet. Filter On Me has so many different options to choose from. So let's go through them one by one. This is one of the presets that I created previously. And I'm just going to show you guys the different settings that you can tweak and play around with. You have the base tab right here. And you can find here different settings to affect how your complexion looks like. So we have foundation, highlighter, contour, blush, skin smoothing, soft light, teeth whitening, just to name a few. So if, for example, we have the soft light here, this will brighten up your face. My favorite thing about the blush slider here is you can actually change how the blush looks on your face as you can see here it has different styles to choose from which i think is really fun with any of the sliders here at filter on me what i love about it is you can really customize the color to your liking so it doesn't have select colors to choose from you can really customize it so for example if you want it darker you can do that or if you want to keep it lighter you have that option if you want to try eccentric colors feel free to do so as well. The next tab is the shape tab. Here, it is essentially like Facetune. You can really tweak your face to how you want it to look. So for example, if you want to make your face more V and more angular, you can definitely do that. Or if you want to play around with your forehead, make it bigger, make it smaller, it really is up to you. You just have to be a little bit careful because you may look a little crazy, but if that's what you want to do, feel free to do so, it's a lot of fun. If you wanna change your eyes, you can change it at the eyes tab. If you want to make your eyes bigger, you can definitely make it bigger. Or if you want to make it higher or lower, you have that option as well. This next tab is my favorite tab and it's the eye makeup tab because I love how detailed it is. You can add eyeliner, eyeshadow, you can even add eyelashes, so let me show you. Like you can darken your lash line, you can definitely add more eyebrow color. And again, you can customize this how you like. So if you want your eyebrows to look darker, you can really make it look darker. And you can see it's super accurate. There's so much flexibility with this app. You can, for example, do this. You can make your eyebrows more arched if you would like. Other apps aren't this detailed. Same thing with the lips. Like for example, here at the lips tab, you can change the lipstick type. So here we have matte, shiny, and glitter. So this is how the shiny looks and this is how the glitter looks. 
I don't see apps doing this kind of detail for things like lipstick. With the lipstick, you can really customize what kind of lip look you'd like. And of course, they have the sliders to adjust how your lips look. So you can increase the lips in size. You can make your lips bigger and you can make it thicker if you like. So if you really want big lips, you can do that. If you want to give yourself a virtual rhinoplasty, you can definitely do that with filter on me here at the nose tab. For example, you can make it lower down. You can make it higher up. Filter on me doesn't do just beauty filters. They also have some fun filters here you can use. So here's my favorite one. It's the dancing broccoli. Then we also have here the egg. This is another iconic one. And we have the dancing pickle. So Filter on Me really has every filter you can think of in one app. The great thing is once you created the perfect filter, you can actually save it as a preset. So I actually have some here that I created. Again, the world is your oyster with Filter on Me. You can just play around with the settings and once you're happy with it, you can save it as a preset for you to use later on. Now, you may be wondering how do you apply the Filter on Me filters onto your Google Meet? It's actually very simple. All you need to do is just click this button right here next to the video tab and then you're just going to change it to the Filter on Me camera and boom, it's already applied. Once you turn on the filter on me camera, it's going to show the last preset you selected or the last settings you had on filter on me. If you're interested to try it out and to know more about filter on me, visit our website at filteronme.com for more information. And if you have any questions about filter on me, feel free to leave a comment down below.